event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alejandre the Cannibal Pantoja. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 6 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby Marino! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go. Right now. Ooh. You want to punch me in the face while I go to touch gloves? How dare you, sir. I'm the champion. So UFC 290, Brandon Moreno versus Alejandra Pante, Pantoja, Pantoja. Ooh. So we're playing on legendary AI, hardest difficulty. I'm playing as Brandon Moreno because I think he's going to win. But the tricky part about this is, is he going to win? So these two have already fought twice, and both times, Pantoja won. Once was an exhibition fight, and once was uh, in 2018. Brandon Moreno just can't solve this. But after fighting Figgy all those times, maybe he's uh, learned something. All those championship rounds. And this should be a fun fight, right? Everyone's always excited about flyweights, right? Flyweights are probably the the highest revenue weight class in UFC history, right? <laughs> and this is also tricky because both of these fighters have like a 95 submission and submission defense rating. Something like that. They're both very good at submissions. Ooh. Okay, okay. 
And so it begins. The takedown. Nice ground elbow. Ooh, nice. Didn't realize I was hitting him that much. For that liver shot and paid for it. There we go. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now. Round two. Ooh. Oh, that kick. Come on. go there we go shut those lights off fella nice 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 That was a pretty exciting fight, despite the fact they were flyweights, right? We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... So what do you think? Will Brandon Moreno be able to get the upset? Even though he's champion, him winning might be an upset. Because he's 0-2 uh, against... This gentleman. Excited to see tonight on USC 290. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Later.